right. Last time, we talked about recurrence relations and how to solve them in terms of an explicit closed form. And today, we are going to be talking about a little bit more about recurrence relations at the start, and then inclusion exclusion. Which you may remember having talked about before when we were doing counting. But I guess what we're doing now is sort of more advanced counting techniques. So we are going to be doing a more general formulation of inclusion exclusion. But we will get that in a minute. So let's finish off our discussion of recurrence relations. Last time, what we saw was how to solve linear, homogeneous, uh, constant coefficients. Recurrence relations, which are of the form a n equals c one a n minus one plus dot dot plus c k a n minus k. So we saw how to find the general solution to such a recurrence relation by first of all finding the roots of the characteristic equation, and second of all combining these by linear combinations. And if you have repeated roots, you need to do something a little special with adding powers of n to your fundamental solutions. So now that we are experts on that, let's add one more case. Which is the case of non homogeneous same things. So we are still going to assume that they are linear and that they have constant coefficients, but we no longer assume that they are homogeneous. So now we can have some terms that have no a sub i's in them. So what these will look like is a n equals C1 a n minus 1 plus C k a n minus k plus some function of n. And again, so we're going to see how to solve these things. And it's going to be very similar to how to solve differential equations if you are familiar with that theory. So essentially, the solution comes down to two parts. Solving the associated homogeneous uh, relation which is what you get when you just ignore the non homogeneous part, essentially. So the first part is, wouldn't it be nice if you had a normal linear homogeneous equation? So you solve that thing. And the second part is to find a particular solution to the non-homogeneous relation. And this part is a little bit trickier, but we will see that in certain cases, there is a, a good way to do it. So the point is that every solution can be got from a single solution by adding solutions to the homogeneous relation. So let's write that down as a theorem. So theorem. 
if a n upper p for p for particular. And in case these, this wording is a little bit confusing, by a particular solution, we don't really mean anything special by that. We just mean a solution to this full recurrence relation, the non-homogeneous version. Um, but we just need to find any solution. It doesn't really matter which one. So if a n p is a particular solution, of the non-homogeneous relation a n equals c1 a n minus 1 through c k a n minus k plus f of n. So if we find a single solution to this recurrent relation, then every solution is of the form this particular solution that we found plus a homogeneous solution to the associated homogeneous equation. Relation, right. Um, so it's of this form where a n h is a solution of the associated homogeneous relation. Which is a n equals it's just where you forget the non homogeneous part. So what this is telling us is that in order to expand our knowledge to the case of these non homogeneous things, we only need to figure out how to find a single solution to this new type of equation. And then the general solution, the full set of solutions, we can find using what we already know about homogeneous equations. How good. So that is the good news. The bad news is that finding a particular solution in general is quite tricky. So we will limit ourselves to a couple of cases where there is a good way to do it. Namely, how to find a particular solution we can do this by taking an educated guess which by which we essentially mean that in a couple of different situations we know the form that the solution should take and we'll just have to figure out what the precise details are so the two main types that we can deal with are if f of n is an exponential function, so something like 7 to the n, then our particular solution will be the same exponential function, but multiplied by some constant that we have to determine. So for your particular solution, you will try something like constant times 7 to the n. And then you will have to figure out what this constant is. You can't just take any constant. It is not any real number. Uh, you will have to figure out how to find a number that works. So we'll see an example of that in just a second. Although I think we'll give an example for this second type, if I remember correctly. Right, right. So the other type is if f of n is a polynomial, so for example, 3n squared plus 5n plus 1, then your guess for the particular solution should be some polynomial of the same degree. So a n squared plus b n plus c. And again, we cannot take just any real numbers for these. We have to figure out some numbers that make it a solution. So let's see an example of this. So let's solve. Let's say you can find all solutions. 
um, of the recurrence relation a n equals three a n minus one plus two n. And uh, okay, yeah, let's leave it at that. So as we can see, this is exactly the kind of equation or recurrence relation that we were talking about. It is linear, but non-homogeneous because we have this part that is not multiplied by some AI. So how do we solve it? Well, as we've seen, there are two parts. So the first part is the associated homogeneous equation. Which in this case, so you're forgetting the non-homogeneous part. In this case, it's just a n equals 3 a n minus 1. And the solutions of this are simply a n equals, or let's call this a n h, because it's going to be the homogeneous part of our general solution. These solutions are um, x times 3 to the n for any x in R. So you can see this either just by inspection. Every time you increment n, it multiplies by 3. So you should be getting something like 3 to the n. But you can also see this from what we did last time because the characteristic equation is r minus 3 equals 0. So the characteristic root is r equals 3. And that is what becomes your homogeneous solution. Very good. Now is the new part, is the non-homogeneous part. So our particular solution We have f of n equals 2n. And this is a polynomial of degree 1. So it lands in this case. And it tells us that we should try a n particular equals a n plus b. And just as a quick note, you want to do a general polynomial of the same degree. So if f of n is 2n, then just doing something times n will not be good enough. You definitely do need to add the whole rest of the polynomial. And again, we cannot take just any real numbers to be these coefficients. We need to figure out which real numbers will make it a solution. So we do that just by plugging into the recurrence relation and then getting a system of equations that we can solve for a and b. So solve for A and B. So our recurrence relation says that A n, which is this, should be equal to 3 times A n minus 1 plus 2 n. And so we can rearrange this. Let's just uh, expand it out a little bit. This is 3a n plus 2n. So I'm moving that over there. Um, and expanding this out and expanding that out, we get plus 3b minus 3a. So this is nothing special. We just expanded out this part and rearranged the terms a little bit. And now if we collect all of the a terms together, or sorry, we collect all of the n terms together and all of the constant terms together, we get uh, 2a plus 2 times n plus 2b minus 3a equals zero. 
And the point is that this is then our system of equations, because if we're going to have this equation be true for all values of n, then these two things had both better be zero individually. So we get 2a plus 2 equals 0, and 2b minus 3a equals 0. And again, for the sake of time, I'm going to spare us the solving of this system and just say that a turns out to be negative 1, and b turns out to be negative 3 halves. So our general solution has the form particular solution plus homogeneous solution. And in this case, what we have found is the particular solution is negative n minus 3 halves. And the homogeneous solution is x times 3 to the n for any x in R. And that is how we solve non-homogeneous linear recurrence relations.